doesn't fall forth. You've got to make something with a hinge on both sides so, so that if the cat falls in, it doesn't just go smack itself against the wall and break its arm. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Very good. Very what? What do you want, my dear? I'm putting a stop to this. <laughs> well, you know, you can't just stand here and talk about cats. Everyone loves cat jokes. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael. There are no jokes involved. It's a series of cat facts. You can't have a joke if it makes sense. So, uh, <clears throat> what are you trying to say? Huh? What, we're, what, we're, what we're saying, Michael, is um, this, was, uh, this was always the problem, basically. You think too logically for a comedian. Do you know what I mean? You make so much sense. You don't make none at all. You've got to start using this and start using that exactly. stuff. Exactly. Right, that's it. That's it. I've been spurned by you two one man too many times and I told you what would happen if you let the beast of Michael Logic out of that cage. <laughs> Pat! Come here, you fat cat! <laughs> I want to see your eyes die! Oh, 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 oh,
because I do not know where to, where to start, what, what comedy, what, what absolute... I think we should follow the advice in that piece and follow our hearts more than our heads. And if Pat was here, Pat, I would like to ask you out for a drink, Pat. Pat, my kind of woman. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a wonderful dance piece. A wonderful dance piece that has wowed the European countries and the Americas. Please welcome Mr. Stuart Lodge in his wonderful contemporary...